the symbolism of the crocodile, which is very complex. The crocodile is typically associated with its destructive veracity, being an agent of divine retribution, a lord of the water and earth, of life and death. And to Europeans unfamiliar with this tropical and subtropical reptile, it was a subject of awe and moralizing hostility. In ancient Egyptian iconography, the dead often appeared as crocodiles, and the town of Crocodopolis was dedicated to the crocodile god Sobek. But in more monstrous imagery, Amut, who devoured the hearts of wrongdoers, had crocodile jaws, and the god Set took the form of a crocodile to devour his brother Osiris. In Native American iconography, the crocodile, or alligator, appears with open jaws as the nocturnal sun swallower. And some Central American mythology say that the crocodile gave birth to the earth or supports it on its back. In the West, the crocodile is sometimes interpreted as a form of the Leviathan, as an image of chaos, or as the dragon that symbolically represents evil. The Nile crocodile is one of the world's largest reptiles. It is honored in some regions of ancient Egypt while despised in others. And the best known of the crocodile deities was Sobek, but there were a number of gods and demons who took aspiring crocodile forms. In some traditions, the crocodile was the first creature to emerge from the primeval waters. And crocodiles could be symbols of the life-giving power of the primordial waters or the forces of chaos who tried to swallow up and destroy all life. Death by crocodile was particularly dreaded because the body would be devoured. And epitaphs for the crocodiles included mouth of terror and one who seizes. When they seized people, crocodiles were thought to be carrying out the vengeance of gods or the decrees of fate. And King Menace is said to have founded the city of Crocodopolis in gratitude for a crocodile saving him from a dog attack. Crocodiles were kept as sacred animals in some temples and mummified after death. At Atribis, the local crocodile deity Kenti Kenti came to be regarded as a form of Horus, but conversely on a magical steel, Horus the savior was asked to drive away all the crocodiles of the river. Again, conflict in our interpretations of crocodiles. At Edfu, crocodiles were revealed as followers of Seth. A crocodile offspring of Seth called Maga was a fearsome opponent for Horus, who was the son of Osiris. And in temple texts at Edfu, the king promises to kill all the crocodiles and crush their eggs. In the afterlife, the souls of the dead had to evade the crocodiles of the four directions, who were the enemies of the four baths of the sun god. In enigmatic scenes in the New Kingdom royal tombs, the nocturnal sun has to pass through the body of the crocodile Penweti, who symbolizes the primeval water, in order to be reborn again. Outside of Sobek, who is well known as a crocodile deity, Amut, who is the devourer, is a tonic underworld goddess, a significant deity who allegedly consumes the dead if their hearts are found weighed down with guilt in the judgment hall of the two truths during the weighing of the heart ceremony. Amut has a fearsome aspect and sits along 42 juror gods named in the book of coming forth by day, depicted with the head of a crocodile, the trunk and four limbs of a lion, and the hind parts of a hippopotamus, she's a fearsome creature indeed. In Aztec mythology, Chipactically was a vicious primeval sea monster, part crocodile and part fish, always hungry, and every joint on her body was adorned with an extra mouth. For the Janjero of Ethiopia, Hyal was the creator god and was personified by a crocodile and considered to reside in the river Gebi. He was appeased with human sacrifice. In the Sudan, there was Naya Kaya, who was the goddess of the crocodiles, and though she was feared as a deity, she was appeased again with sacrifices of cattle and goat. 
the relationship with humans and crocodiles is still very complex as we see great deification but also great fear and hostility. 